Hello, everyone. Hello. We are on night 18, night 18 of our 25 night social media revival. And I am excited. Come on in, people of God. Eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God wants to do in you and through you. Let me tell you guys, oh my God, it, I, can I be honest with you? It was almost not a revival tonight. And the reason being is because me and uh, about 12 other uh, friends of mine decided to do an emergency shut in for prayer at my church. So I'm literally in the parking lot. They are in there praying. We will be praying until 7 a.m. in the morning. And when I tell you the way God do, Jesus is moving in there, I'm telling you, oh my God, listen, people of God, I almost did, I'm telling you, I almost didn't make it out on live. But I said, I got, I got to be, you know, I want to be in the presence of God, you know, in there praying with them right now. But I had to jump on with you guys, too. I need you to begin to tag and share. Please forgive me if I get hyped, if I get crunk or anything. It's because I just came out of prayer to step outside, as I stated, people of God, so I can just come on live, you know, for this hour so we can continue on our social media revival. But whatever you're needing God to do when I tell you, it shall happen tonight because we are in there in a shut-in inside the church laying everything at the altar. And you guys already know it's too many of you for me to lift up separately. But I will people of God be lifting up all my Facebook followers. I will be calling y'all names out in general, meaning saying, God bless my Facebook followers. God answer their prayers. So tonight, people of God, I need you to begin to tag and share like never before. I am also inviting some people uh, to this live, people of God. God is having his way on tonight. I'm telling you, I just drove nine and a half hours back from Georgia. No sleep, no nothing. I literally got to rush to the hospital to my cousin. You know what I mean? Uh, having to go through emergency surgery where they got to take um, a half of his skull off to release the uh, pressure because he was bleeding internally. There, when I tell you it's been attack after attack after attack, but anytime the devil begins to attack, attack back to back to back, I already know what to do. Baby, you got to get like Job. Come on, tear everything off of you and get before God. So I am here on tonight. We are here on tonight doing a shut-in in prayer. Um, I need everybody to begin to tag and share. Tag 15 people you love, you care about, you want to motivate people of God uh, uh, on tonight because God is up to something amazing, mighty, powerful, and he's definitely going to show up and show out. So I need you to begin to tag and share. Do you know that the quickest way to put a seed in the ground is by simply tagging and sharing? If you have not paid attention to any other life, I'm telling you tonight is the night. I'm telling you tonight is the night. God is doing, oh Jesus. He Listen, he's making 911 calls. Meaning on the drop of a dime, it's an emergency that he show up. Come on, it's an emergency that he show up. So very quickly, I need you to begin to tag and share. Come on, I need you to tag and share. Come on, I need you to tag and share. We are literally laying at the altar of my church tonight. I literally stepped out to come and do this revival on tonight. I almost canceled. But God said this still got to go forth. So tonight, I need y'all to come on here like I'm on here. Not playing with demons or devils or tonight. We ain't playing with warlocks, witches. We ain't playing with black magic, white magic, voodoo. We Tonight, we are decreeing God that we are done suffering. The woman of God, I'm waiting for the prophetess to let me know she is on. Woman of God, please comment. You are on. Come on, don't get tired of tagging and sharing. Come on, Sabrina, I see you on. Come on, I see you on, Keisha. Come on, I see you on a uh, 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 pretty diamond. Come on, I see you on Arthur Janae. Come on, Katrina Gitch, I see you on. Come on, I need y'all tagging and sharing. Come on, Shay Reddit, I see you on. My snipers in the spirit who already know what to do. Come on, I need you to, I, I, I need you, I need you. 
I need you. Come on, don't get tired of tagging and sharing. Don't get tired of tagging and sharing. When I tell you I'm excited to be able to pray for my Facebook followers at the altar of the church tonight. Man, we got pillows. We wrote down all prayer requests on the paper. We got pillows. We got covers. When I tell you we laying it all down and the, one of the head intercessors opened us up in prayer tonight because I knew I got to run out for the live. Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, I started screaming and I almost didn't make it back outside. So I am waiting, prophetess, if you are on, because so many comments come on so quickly. Come on, good job. Hey, Berlin, I love you, babe. Come on, continue to tag and share. God bless you, Tiffany. Come on, for tagging and sharing. God bless y'all just for y'all obedience. Come on, on tonight. Come on, I need y'all to act like, come on, God still got time to do it. I need y'all to act like God is about to show up and show out. Rabba Kosaya. I need y'all. Rabba Kosaya. I need you. Oh, oh, my, my mighty God. I feel God. Oh, I'm trying to keep still. I suffer for some things. Come on. I, I'm getting attacked. Come on. Just because of this revival. You better get what I'm saying to you. It's so many testimonies that have been coming forth tonight. I need y'all to push. Come on. I need y'all to tap into different heavenly realms tonight. I need y'all to act like it's your last night of going through what you're going through. Hold on, I'm, woman of God, if you are on, if you are on, send me a request to come on or just comment one more time you're on because the comments are moving quickly. The prophet is that is coming on, on tonight. It's her first time on my platform. I've heard amazing things about her. So I'm excited about the word of God. Come on, don't get tired of tagging. Don't get tired of tagging. I can see, woman of God, that your prophet is you're hitting the like button. I'm just waiting for the comment to come up. And let me know you're on. Because there's so many people. Tanisha, God bless you. Okay, I can see you. God bless you, Tanisha. For tagging and sharing. Come on, I need everybody to come, come on tagging and sharing on tonight. Come on, it's going to require us. Come on, to do something different. So pardon me if I'm, I'm, I'm loud, if I'm, if I'm excited. It's because when you're in the middle of a shut-in, baby, God be already in the midst and he be moving. So I'm believing that tonight will be the last night we all suffer. So prophet is, I'm going to back up so God can have his way, so I can tag and share also. I'm praying that the word of God hit me in the belly on, on tonight because I need God like never before. One more thing, you guys, I need you to tag and share like crazy. I need you to move when she moves. If she says something that hits your spirit, I want you to comment that thing back to back to back like you needed to reach heaven on tonight. Prophetess, I'm going to back up so God can have his way. God bless you, Dr. Shakira McFadden. God bless thank you. you on tonight. Amen. I thank you so much for the invite. Bye, bye, bye. I have watched you several times. But, I, you know, of course, like you said, this is the first time that, you know, I've been on your broadcast and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. God bless each and every one of you that are here with us tonight, that are tuning in, that are tuned in. Amen. We just glorify the Lord and glorify our God for each and every one of you that's on this live. Hallelujah. Amen. I was listening to you, woman of God, about, you know, prayer and how you guys are shutting in and laying before the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Prayer is my language. Amen. Yes. That's what I do. I'm an intercessor. Amen. I'm a bona fide prophet. Glory to God. Mm. Come on. Someone that God has called before the foundations of this world. Hallelujah. Family, mother, amen. Father, people that didn't even understand me. Hallelujah. But God knew me because he placed me, hallelujah, in the, in the womb of my mother. Amen. And brought me forth for such a time as this. So I am grateful. Jeez. Hallelujah. I am honored to, amen, embrace your, your broadcast on tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all, we suffered. Yes. We have suffered for this. Hallelujah. Whatever your this is. Hallelujah. But I do know amen, that we have all suffered to be anointed. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. It takes the anointing of God to even operate. Come on, to even go forth in the power and the dunamis power of the Holy Ghost to allow, amen, God to even operate through us. 
amen for his glory to be revealed amen for people them to be healed set free and yes. delivered yes. it takes the anointing of god it takes the power of god hallelujah amen glory to god that's the reason why we have to suffer some things hallelujah and we know that the bible tells us that many are the affliction of the righteous right mm. but the lord deliver us out of them all amen dr shakira when you uh you called me amen a couple of weeks ago letting me know about the revival i was going through my sufferings then Jeez. i was suffering some things then and i'm still Ooh. suffering some things now hallelujah glory to god amen we cannot hallelujah determine when our sufferings will be over Jesus. when our afflictions glory to god when god will deliver us out of our afflictions but he promises us that he will deliver hallelujah from them all yes lord and what i have understood and what i have glory to god amen experienced for myself yes lord that even in the afflictions mm. we must still keep pressing keep praising and keep praying hallelujah even when you're in your afflictions you must still be that intercessor that god has predestined and assigned you to be glory to god and i just believe that as you're interceding come on as you're pressing and doing what the spirit of grace has assigned you to do hallelujah amen come on then he will begin to lift the loads and lift the burdens hallelujah come on here hallelujah i found out amen that most of the times when we're suffering come on we're just not suffering because of our own self or because mm. of to god hallelujah amen something that we may have done wrong come on we, we, we suffer sometimes, glory to God, because of others. Hallelujah. We have to be look, touched by the feelings of their infirmities as Jesus was touched by the feelings of our infirmities. Hallelujah. Infirmities. Amen. We have to become sensitive to the others around us. Hallelujah. Yes. No matter how close they are or how distant they are, you have to be able, glory to God, to go through some things, come on, or have encountered some things in your life in your body in your mind hallelujah to the point to where if someone else is going through or encountering that thing hallelujah you will be sensitive enough to pick them up in the realm of the spirit Jesus. it's just not about us come on this suffering is just not about us hallelujah jesus, jesus. hallelujah i'm telling you something amen i want to jump right in to prayer amen if you don't mind I, I i i know i'm not with you guys in the physical amen but when you spoke my language just now hallelujah come on here amen it causes me to join in in the realm of the spirit yes. hallelujah yes. glory to god yes sir amen i have some notes written down praise god and some things amen that i want to say hallelujah glory to god scriptures that i have written down amen praise god hallelujah but i'm just i one that i believe in with the holy ghost come on here yeah. being led by the spirit of grace oh yes hallelujah we thank god for scripture come on we thank god for the word of god yes lord hallelujah but the bible says that the letter kill it amen but it's the spirit that gives life hallelujah amen glory to god i can't i can't even read the scripture come on without the spirit without the holy ghost come on here hallelujah approving of it first yes god hallelujah amen and i just know people of god you have suffered many things come on we have all suffered many things yes sir hallelujah yes god hallelujah to be anointed oh my god but you know when i was studying earlier today amen i was thinking about yes lord amen the apostle john that was on the island of patmos right hallelujah amen we know the story come on with the apostle john amen come on they boiled him in oil right hallelujah amen they boiled him in hot oil oil glory to god amen and he survived it amen that was a miracle that god performed in the eyes of the onlookers and even in the eyes hallelujah of those aromas that threw him in the oil come on amen and god worked the miracle and allowed him and spared his life hallelujah come on to convert those that was on looking to convert Jeez. those that did not believe in christ jesus hallelujah Jeez. yes sir so so the apostle john he suffered 
glory to God. Persecution, he suffered. Hallelujah. You can imagine being thrown in that hot boiling oil. Mm -hmm. My God, and how he felt in his flesh and how he looked when they looked upon him. Come on here. I, I, I can see the picture of him being disfigured, blood dripping and skin dripping. Hallelujah. Amen. But what they, they witnessed was a miracle. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And as I begin to read, hallelujah, the Bible says, amen, now Concordance said, amen, come on, that many of those people, hallelujah, amen, they did not believe in Christ Jesus, glory to God, hallelujah, they were converted because they saw Jesus spared his life. Come on, they Thanks. saw the apostle, glory to God, Paul, amen, or, or, or John, hallelujah, amen, made it. He lived even in boiling oil. Hallelujah. In other words, people of God, you may be going through something very fiery and very hot and, and it seems unbearable, glory to God, and it seems like you didn't almost make it, my mm. God, but you got to know that the Lord, hallelujah, is with you and he was with you he is with you and he will be with you no matter how trial how how hot the fiery trials comes to try you yes. hallelujah but think it not strange people of god amen that these things happen to you you may feel glory to god amen the, the pressure of life and amen you may be experiencing some things such as i am and things that i have never encountered before yes sir and i feel like times that i'm thrown into the boiling oil oh Jesus. my god Amen. Oh. I, I say sometimes, Lord, I don't know if I want these people to see me like this, God. Hallelujah. But God said, don't you worry about how they see you because they're seeing me in you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. They'll know that you are afflicted. Don't worry because, hallelujah, about the fact that they know that you are afflicted, that you almost, come on, lost your mind, that you <laughs> almost gave up, come on, that you almost backslid. Come on here. Don't worry about the things that they knew and they heard about you glory to god because god is the one that sustained you yes. and kept you yes. come on here hallelujah even when you was going through your fiery trials of life oh glory to god think it not strange concerning the fiery trials that comes to try you as though some strange thing has happened we got to understand that many amen the apostles and the saints of god they have gone through many afflictions and sufferings come on yes. jesus himself glory to god had went through suffering and he went through for us people of god hallelujah come on we know what the scripture said hallelujah he was wounded hallelujah for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquities oh my god the chastisement of our peace was upon him but guess what by his stripes you're already healed you may be going through something in your body oh glory to god the doctors may tell you that you can't get well and there's no care for this or for that hallelujah amen don't be shamed because you're going through something you're feeling come on sick in your body you may be afflicted with something they told you amen that you will never get healed from oh glory to god because jesus is your healer oh glory to god jesus is the one that will set you free hallelujah come on here and regulate your mind while you're going through your affliction oh my many are the affliction of the righteous but jesus delivers you out of them all glory to god amen and many of the apostles, amen, such as Apostle Paul. Hallelujah. My God, I was, I was studying that other day. He suffered a chronic, glory to God, disease. And I began to read what that disease was. Come on. The Apostle Paul suffered from epilepsy. Oh, my God. Amen. Moses suffered from epilepsy. Seizures. My, oh, my God. Y'all read it. Go ahead and read it. Go back in it. Amen. They suffered. Hallelujah. Amen. From epilepsy. Amen. When I was reading about the Apostle so Paul, oh my God, y'all think you ain't gonna go through nothing? Oh no, <laughs> glory to God, you're gonna suffer some things. You're gonna go through it in your mind. Oh my God, <laughs> hallelujah. It feels like you unbalanced, you unstable. People will tell you you're crazy. Come on, you're blind, you're blind, bow legged, crippling, crazy. Hallelujah, you're going to suffer some things. The apostle Paul went through in his mind as I begin to study. Hallelujah, it says.
said that when he was on the road of Damascus, amen, and when he was blinded by that great light, come on here, he was thrown off his horse. They, they believed that he hit his head. Come on here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even as the light it blinded him, amen, he had a neurological problem, y'all know what I'm saying, a neuro problem going on in the head. Come on, y'all. Oh, my God. Amen. It caused convulsions. Read it, y'all. You study it for yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And they thought that he was crazy. Hallelujah. Because he heard the voice of Jesus. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. How many people tell you that you're crazy? They think you out your mind. Hallelujah. Because you're serving a God. You're serving a Jesus, Jesus. that you don't see. You can't see. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on. They, they don't believe that you're serving. Oh, my God. My God. My God. Oh, but you're saying that you hear him. Oh, glory to God. They may have been on the road with you when you got was converted. Oh, my God. They see the transformation, but they still think you're crazy. They think something going on in your mind. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. They thought the same thing about Moses. Oh, my God, my God. As I was reading and studying that thing, I began to say, my God. Oh, glory to God. How many of you been through some pain so excruciating? Jesus. Hallelujah. It felt like you were out of your mind. How many of you have suffered? My God. Hallelujah. And you're saying, God, wait a minute. Do I have to really suffer like like this. Jesus. Be anointed. Do I have to really suffer like this? Hallelujah. For people to know that you're real and know that you're God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. But we have to suffer because people of God, you got to remember that if you suffer with him, you're going to most definitely reign with them. Oh yes. Uh, you're going to reign as kings and queens here in this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh God is going to do so magnificent things in your life. Yes, God. Hallelujah. So they go, oh God, they go not gonna have no choice but to believe in your God. Hallelujah. Yes. Because they know the state that you're in. They know that you couldn't have done these things on your own. Oh my God. Hallelujah. And guess what, people of God? Oh Jesus. I say, yeah, you may not believe in me. Hallelujah. But you better believe in the God in me because I couldn't have known these things unless the Lord showed me. I couldn't have known these things about you unless He spoke to me. Hallelujah. That's one thing they cannot deny. Oh, glory to God. They can try it if they want to. Yes, sir. But they're going to know that you are anointed. They may see you going through your sufferings. Oh, my God. Oh. Yes, sir. They see you when you fall down and you get back up. And they see you when you're broken, you're busted, and you're disgusted. Oh. They see, oh. glory to God. Amen. When there's sometimes it seems like you're begging bread. Hallelujah. Amen. But by the time God pick you up, by the time God getting ready to and finish blessing you, they're going to Ooh, they're going to repent. They're going to say, I'm sorry. Oh, glory to God. They're going to say, I know that God is who he is. Oh, glory. I know you suffered some things. I watched you through it. I saw you go through it. But I know that God is real. Oh, my God. They Jesus. saw the apostle John being dipped in oil. They see you going through your sufferings. Jesus. Oh, they know that you, oh, God, can I tell you this times? Amen. When I was in here in my home, crawling on the floor, crawling, hurting, hallelujah, couldn't pray. All I can do is moan. Oh, my God. Mm. Hallelujah. And groan. And come on here. And I, all I can tell the Holy Ghost, pray through me. Pray through me because I don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh, God, I either hate to go outside. I don't know who's going to see me like this. Hallelujah. But you got to remember, people of God. Oh, my damn Suhoria. Hallelujah. Amen. That when they see you, they see him. They see the light. Come on, they see the light. We know the apostle Paul, I know him bouncing. He had the encounter with Jesus on the road of Damascus. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. That light blinded him so bright. But I just believe, amen, that we know this, that his countenance was changed. He mm. was changed. Come on, he was transformed. His mind was no longer the same. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Come on, he had an encounter with Jesus. Amen. Yes. Because of your suffering, people of God, you're going to have an encounter with Jesus. Hallelujah. I felt like many a times throwing in the towel, giving up, saying, God, this is not worth it. Why? If Jesus went through all of the suffering for me, why do I have to go through it? Come on, don't you have questions yes. like that at times? Lord, why do I have to suffer this, God, if you did it, Lord? 
hallelujah amen but he promises amen to keep us he promises that we're gonna reign come on he, he promises that we're gonna rule yes sir yes lord and because of your suffering oh you got to know amen that you are anointed even as you go through your sufferings in life trials amen temptations or however come on here knowing after this after the affliction time is over the process is over look out for a new anointing mm. come on look out for the new anointing yes sir look out glory to god because god is preparing you right now even for something something glory to god greater than you have ever encountered and experienced in your life before hallelujah yes god so father we thank you tonight we give you the glory we give your name the praise we thank you, Lord, for your anointing, yes. yes, sir, that comes to destroy every yoke. It comes to lift the burdens, yes, sir. It comes to set the captives free. Oh, glory, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus, yes, God, that even in our sufferings, oh, God, hallelujah, that you're going to bless us, yes, sir. You're going to perfect those things that concern us. Yes. You are establishing us already here in the earth. Hallelujah, God, we may not can't see it with our natural eyes, but God, we believe it by faith. And Lord, we just want to say thank you tonight. And thank Father, you, Lord. Even as the women of God are laying out in the sanctuary tonight. Yes. Yes. Father, I thank you, Lord, that they will have such an encounter with you. Yes, Ooh. Lord, that they have never encountered before. Oh, God. Oh, Father, I thank you that you will re release ministering angels, God, in the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Father, even as they are praying, even as they are standing in the gap, God, do it for them yes. in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, do something new. Hallelujah. Do something extraordinary in oh, their Jesus. lives, my yeah, God, yeah. in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I lift up, my God, Dr. Shakira tonight, Father. Lord God, she has suffered, God. She has gone through. Hallelujah, God. At times, she get weary. Yeah. But, Father, you tell us to grow yeah. not weary in doing well. Yeah. But in due season, Father, you she will reap if she faint not. And we know that fainting is not an option, Father. Okay. Father, I thank you that you will strengthen her now yeah. in the name of Jesus, Lord, you said that when she's weak, my God, Lord, you are strong yes. in her. Hallelujah. Your strength is made perfect on the inside of her. In yes, the God. name of Jesus. Hey, so thank you, Father, for the new levels and the new dimensions yes. that you're taking, oh God. Oh God, thank hallelujah. You. At times it feels like she's not moving, God, and she's standing Ooh. still. But Father, I thank you, Father, that she's moving even faster and swifter. Yes. Hallelujah in the realm of the spirit my god oh father i thank you tonight that it's not by might it's not by power yeah. but it's by your spirit my god yeah. oh father we thank you tonight that you will breathe upon your people tonight god, god. oh father set us ablaze once again yeah, blah, 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 blah. father where many of us and some of us has lost our hunger and our thirst after your righteousness but father rekindle the fire rekindle yeah. the sword the hunger in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. oh God, yeah, you said that you will fill us once again, yes. oh Father, we thank you for the work um, that you have set before us, Father, but God, oh, we need your anointing, uh, oh God, help us to stand, oh, oh. my God, uh, in the midst of adversity, help us to stand, uh, hallelujah, in tribulation and trials, Father, even the things we don't understand at times, uh, but Lord, help us to stand and trust you at your word in the name of Jesus. Um, Lord, someone may be going through tonight, Father. Oh God, they don't know which way to turn. Hallelujah. They toss and turning all through the night, yes. uh, all in the bed, Father. Hallelujah. The spirit of torment um, has been tormenting their mind. Um, but Father, I thank you tonight um, that you're breaking the power of the tormentor. Uh, you're breaking, my God, the power in the snares of the enemy now. And every trap that the enemy has set for us. Um, he shall yeah. fall in it himself, uh, him and his imps uh, in the name of Jesus. Come on, people of God. Uh, one can chase a thousand, uh, two yes. can chase tens of thousands. Um, we put the enemy
enemy on flight tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, saying you a liar. We bring the blood of Jesus against you now, and no yes. weapon that be formed against us and God's people shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment, Father, you shall condemn it. It's already condemned. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Father, we thank you for your holy fire tonight. Rest on us on this live. Oh God, do something new. Hallelujah, my God, in our finances. Father, I plead the blood against the enemy right now. Hallelujah, that came up to rob, steal, and destroy. But we plead the blood of Jesus against him now. Hallelujah, we thank you, Father, that we are the head and not the tail. We are above only and never beneath. In the name of Jesus, we are the lenders and never the barriers. We are rising up in our faith. We are rising up in our giving. We are rising up in our sowing. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now, hallelujah, that we shall sow, hallelujah, bountifully. We are bountifully and cheerful givers. In the name of Jesus, some of us is going to give our way out. Come on. My pastor used to tell us that we got to give our way out. We got to faith our way out. Come on here. When we got to walk this thing out by faith, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you tonight. Oh, yes, that your anointing God is moving. Hallelujah. Sit on each and in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare no comes, no comes from glory. In the name of Jesus, Father, as we're all sitting and we're waiting, waiting for you to rush in, for you yes. to rush in like a mighty rushing wind. Hallelujah! We open our mouth and we give you praise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah we God. open our mouth and we give God praise. Even in our suffering, Woo. even in the times, come on, when you're discapabulated in your mind, come on here, hallelujah, when your finances is all jacked up, uh, oh uh. glory, hallelujah, amen, you suffer lack, you suffer loss, that's what suffering means, right, hallelujah, suffering means to, glory to God, the state of undergoing, hallelujah, pain or distress, uh, and I know that each and every one of us uh, have suffered some pain and distress, uh, hallelujah, we suffer for some famine, amen, in some form, shape, or fashion. Hallelujah. We suffered loss and amen, physical torment and mental torment. Come on here. Psychological torment. Uh, come on. I know I'm not the only one. Uh, hallelujah. But we know that the Bible tells us uh, that if we keep our mind stayed on thee, uh, we will keep our mind in perfect peace. Hey, get ready, people of God. You'll get ready to see why you had to suffer hallelujah why you had to go through oh glory to god hallelujah this that or the other hallelujah you suffered for this what you suffer for come on you suffer for a new anointing come on yes. you suffer for new finances you suffer for breakthrough hallelujah some of you suffer because of you come on amen you got a new business come on that's coming up yes sir amen people of god i suffered some things come on in 1999 i was 23 years old Hallelujah, had my first salon. Hallelujah, and the Lord had me spoke that thing, and it came to fruition. Hallelujah, a few months later, my business was set on fire. Oh, my God. They bust my windows out. Come on here. And then they threw cocktails in my business. Come on, they lied on me. They told somebody that I had one of my friends beat up and almost killed. Oh, glory to God. It was all a lie. Oh, glory, come on here. Some people are suffering because they did some wrong things. Uh, but some people, glory to God, is suffering from some things they just did not do. Come on here. I did not have my friend killed. Come on. It was all a lie. But the suffering came. I, I was tormented in my mind. I couldn't sleep at night. Um, hallelujah. I couldn't rest. Um, I'm asking God, who would do this? Why would they do this to me? Oh, my God. Very first salon, y'all. Oh, God. Oh, hallelujah. And I was young and I had to go through that suffering. I didn't know how to explain, oh God, what it was that I was feeling and going through. Uh, hallelujah. Many of you have suffered loss um, and you suffered long. Come on here. Hallelujah. And you suffered strong. Uh, hallelujah. But come on, be a good care and be a good soldier. Because
because God will deliver. Come on. God will bless you again. Come on. He will bring breakthrough again. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. He will give you that business again. Whatever it is that you desire. Oh, my God. Suffered loss. I lost my husband. Come on. He didn't die. Come on here. Glory to God. But come on. I had to make some decisions. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Hallelujah. When I only wanted to be married one time. Oh, glory. And things didn't go so well. Oh, come on. That was devastating. I didn't want to have no more children. Glory to God. Jesus. When I met my husband. But end up getting pregnant two more times. Come on here. Glory to God. Amen. And I went through, glory to God, trauma from that. I Come on. I suffered. Hallelujah. And under, did not understand God. Why did I have to go through this? I didn't, Lord God, ask to be married, then to get divorced. And then I'm left with two more children. Oh, my God. Suffering. Suffering. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on here. I can help women now. Amen on how to identify some things. <laughs> I don't want to scare you. Hallelujah. Amen. But I want to help you. Amen. On how to identify some things. Come on. But you, you're suffering. Come on. Many of you have that prophetic oil on your life. Oh, God. That prophetic mm. anointing. Amen. You got to suffer some things. That's all. Uh, oh, glory to God. Amen. God called me. I heard God called me. Yes, sir. To be a prophet. I was already a prophet from my mother's womb. Amen. But come on. It came into activation. Amen. In the year 2000. December 2000. Come on. Hallelujah. And guess when I heard God. Come on. Amen. Amen. I was put in the hospital. Come on here. On my back. Glory to God. Could not breathe. Come on. They said I had a blood clot in my lung. Come on here. Glory yes. to God. I'm telling you something. Amen. To make a long story short, I suffered and I stayed in the hospital for four days. But God opened my eyes and my prophetic ears. Yes. And I began to hear people in my room that really was not physically there. Come on here. God began to speak to me to speak to the nurses and the doctors. Oh my God. God turned that prophetic up so high. Hallelujah. Till it was almost scary. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm telling you something. If you got that prophetic oil on your life, glory to God, you're going to suffer some things. It even since then, this is year, what, 23. Hallelujah. 23, 24 years later. Hallelujah. Didn't understand or didn't know that I would have to go through all this suffering in between. When you said, come on, amen. Amen. If you're a prophet, come on, you in the five four, you got to know you're going to suffer some things. Lord. And it don't feel good. Huh? Hallelujah. Your suffering. Oh, my God. Ain't nothing pretty about suffering. Come on. Suffering is pain. Oh, glory Jesus. to God. But God is going to get the glory out your life. If you let him. Come on. God, he wants to get the glory out of your life. Being a prophet ain't nothing pretty about it. Come on here. You see makeup and eyelashes and all of that stuff. Oh, glory to God. God, amen, but you got to suffer if you said, come on here, that you're sure about your calling and your election. Oh, my God. You, be, you better be very sure. Come on, you better be very sure. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that's it. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm called to be a prophet. I'm called to be an apostle. Come on. Are you sure about that thing? Oh, glory to God. Amen. Come on, because you might as well get ready. Hallelujah. Because the moment you say that, come on, you get ready to step, but they're going to throw you Jeez. into the lion's den. Come on here. Uh -huh. The moment you say that, come on, you get ready to be thrown into the fiery furnace. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. That's one of the fruits of the spirit to suffer long. Long suffering. Jeez. Who wants to hear that? Ooh. Who in the world wants to suffer long? But it's all for a purpose. It's all yeah. for the people that don't know Christ. Come on, even for the ones that do. Come on here. Come on. You're suffering not just for yourself. Come on, not to be anointed and be pretty. No, sir. You're suffering. Hallelujah. Some things you have to be sensitive or become sensitive. Hallelujah. To other people's. Hallelujah. Come on here. Infirmities. Hallelujah. How you going to know? Hallelujah. Amen. What to pray about? Come on. If you don't yield your members. Oh, my God. Become sensitive. Oh, God. Suffering makes you resilient. Oh, yes. God. How is it in the world? Suffering makes you resilient to pain. Come on. So when it, something come around again, you're going to say, Lord, I 
I don't, it don't feel good to my flesh. But Father, I thank you. I thank you for this. I'm suffering for this because God, something thank is getting you, ready to come out of this. Somebody is getting ready to be saved, set free, and delivered from this suffering. Come on. It's to help save others. Come on. Yes. It's to help tell somebody yes. that I've gone through that. I understand it. Now let me labor with you in prayer. Come on. Let me prophesy to you as the spirit of grace give me utterance. Come on. I'm going to help you and walk you through this. This not just, this just not for us, y'all. Come on. If you're going to suffer, glory to God, know that you will reign. Yes, sir. But glory to God. God, he wants to get the obedience out of you. Oh, my God. Oh, obedience. Come on. It, 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 it's being produced. Come on. From your suffering. I know, y'all, I, I, I talk like this, but this is how I talk. Y'all, understand me. Come on. Out of your obedience, glory to God. Out of your suffering, obedience is birth. Come on. You're, you're resilient. Come on. Amen. I understand it hurts. <clears throat> it hurts when you go through. Yes, sir. It hurts when you don't understand. Wait, 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 mm. God. I just came out of something now. Here I am again now. Oh. I've learned and I'm learning not to complain, not to Ooh. mumble, because we know mm. what happened with the children of Israel as they mumble while they was going through, through, wandering around. Come on. They were supposed to get to that place, I think, in 11 days, right? To that land. That was flowing with milk and honey, right? But it took them 40 long years. Come on, let's not be like the children of Israel. Glorify him in your sufferings. Hallelujah. Glorify him in your afflictions. I know it don't feel good. Hallelujah. But it's all good. Come on. We bless the name of the Lord. We give him praise and honor. Praise him in your sufferings. Pray while you're suffering. Oh, God. It was hard. Can I even tell y'all this? And I'm going to turn it back over to doctor. Even while I've been suffering, I have been reading my word. Sometimes it's even hard or I get angry. I, I, and can I tell you this? I, I felt anxiety come upon me reading my word. I said, because you know, it's like the the word is mirroring you. You it's like a mirror, right? You you begin to see some things about you. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, this is where I am. Why am I right here? I don't like this. I don't. I, I I felt myself having anxiety because of my suffering, and I'm like, I don't even want to read this right now. I don't want to hear this, Lord. I don't want to right now. Yes. But then I said, nevertheless, God, do it in me. Mm. Show me me. Lord, what it is that I need to repent of? What it is that you're causing this? Why are you causing this suffering? It's to cause some, sometimes he got to break you from some things. Come on here. He got to put that character in order. Oh my God. Woo. Yes, Lord. But I know that suffering will teach you obedience. It will teach us obedience. I told one of my friends, I said, after this, I'm going to do that different. Jeez. I'm not going to repeat yes. that no more. Ooh. Suffering helps you to see where you are. Ooh. Whether you did it yourself to cause it suffering yourself or whether it's for righteousness sake, you're going to learn a lesson. You're going to mm -hmm. learn. You're going to, you're going to say, my God, Lord, wait a minute. And yes, sometimes we cause suffering on our own. Yes, God. But it's okay because we're still learning. We're still living this thing. We're still walking this thing out. That's right. Right. We're still living and we're learning. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is teaching us and grooming us and breaking us and molding us and making us. Hallelujah. And we have to be that light for someone else. We have to be there for right. someone else in their time of need. That's why suffering is the key. Suffering is the key? Yeah. Suffering is going to help unlock other people out of their jail cells. Yes. God. Poverty. We have to sometimes suffer lack and loss. Amen. So that way when God bless us, mm, he'll cause you to be a blessing to someone else. That's, That's right. 
They're lacking their laws. Oh, come on. Yes, sir. God is giving it to bless us. Yes, Lord. He's outpouring his spirit upon us. Come on here. We're in these last days, people of God. Yes, Lord. And God is looking for an obedient people. Oh, Lord. Yes, sir. It's hard at times. But come on, with the help of the Holy Ghost, the greater one on the inside of you, you can do it. You can make it. You can take it. You're going to stand. And the anointing, he has poured it out. It's upon you. Hallelujah. You shall prophesy. Get ready to dream dreams. Get ready to see more visions. Come on, get ready to pray without ceasing. Come on. Yes, sir. Sometimes you go through suffering. It makes you want to cease. <laughs> it makes you want to back up from praying. Woo! It makes me say, I'm going to shut my mouth. I'm not saying nothing. Hey! Shoto recita. Recita tata bohosia. Hey! Manso ransiko rita da bansoria. Hallelujah. Amen. But the word is like fire. Shut up in my bones. Come on. Let that word be fire. Shut up in your bones when you ready to retreat. Come on, when you ready to throw in the towel. Hey, Baba Boho, Roshi Tata So too much word in you for you to give up. Who shit Bansuria? I'm speaking to you, people of God, by the spirit of grace. There's too much word in you for you to give up. Don't quit. Don't quit. <laughs> I'm speaking to myself. Don't quit. Hey, Roshi Tata Labansuri and say, hey. And we bless you, Father. Yes, God. We bless you tonight. We feel I feel the spirit of peace. Mm. Breakthrough has been released. Mm. There are millionaires on this live. Manori mm. Ando. You are one of them, Prophet Dr. Shakira. Lansuri Esoganabansuria. I see like group homes and I see homes for those that are or, or that will come out of prison. I see programs, <laughs> Dr. Ma Shakira, Malakusi and Labansuri and Soya. I see homes where you will house veterans and house those that I can't come that had to come that come out of prison. You get ready. Thank you, Lord. Get ready for your dreams to come to fruition. For the Lord says that I shall anoint your hands. Yes, Lord. And your hands shall prosper. Yes, Lord. I shall cause you to prosper. Yes, through sir. your hands. I see grants and hallelujah. Messanda government funding that the Lord shall release unto you. Glory. Glory to God. You get ready, woman of God. God says, I shall anoint you with another oil. Yes. And this oil that I am anointing you with is going to many are going to be in awe because this is going to be a different anointing. You also get ready, yes, Lord, for out-of-body encounters, experience. Yes. Hallelujah, yes, Lord. You shall encounter the Father like you have never encountered him yes. before. For the yes. Lord says that I shall give you rest, saith the Lord. I, you shall find rest for your soul and rest is in him. Yes. Rest in him, saith the Lord. Even when this revival Bible is over. For the Lord says, I will cause you to fast and to rest for three days. Hallelujah. Mansuri and Surya. The Lord will condition and prepare your heart and your mind, your spirit. Yes, Lord. Lucky Suri and Surya. I know you may have wear a lot of hats and amen, have a lot of things, hallelujah, to do on your schedule. Hallelujah. But the Lord will give you time. He will make time. Come on. Yes. How many of you know that God is redeeming the time? Yes, sir. 
God. Oh God, and he's causing time to be still. Hallelujah, yes, sir. So you can be able to spend time with him. Yes, Lord, get to know him in a deeper way. Yes. Hallelujah, Mansuri and so there are there is revelations and downloads, Dr. Shakira, amen, that the Lord shall release and download into you. Lansuria, even upcoming events of upcoming, hallelujah, revivals for the year of 24. Thank you, Lord. For the Lord shall already be dealing with you. Hallelujah. You get ready. You shall begin to write. I even see a book. I see some books that you shall write. Hallelujah. You get ready. Yes, even in your resting time. And at the times you break away and you're still away with the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord shall anoint your hands. There it is again. He said, I give you the yes, sir, the pen of a ready writer. Yes. For the Lord shall in illuminate you yes god and help you with the time that you need yes sir to write to write yes sir yes, Ooh, yes lord your writing shall become very relevant yes god yes. and bless many saith the lord hallelujah yes. jesus Ooh, glory hallelujah oh father we thank you tonight we thank you for the people of hallelujah your people that's upon this yes. line Father, I thank you that they shall have encounters with you like never before. Yes. Lord, many yes. want to draw closer. And Lord, even as they draw closer, hallelujah, you will draw, amen, them closer to you. As they draw nigh, you shall draw nigh unto them. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you tonight. Yes, yes Lord, that the eyes have not seen nor have their ears heard, hallelujah, but it shall enter into their heart what you are doing. We expect the great, hallelujah. We thank you for abundance. We thank you for abundant living. Thank yes, you. God. We thank you for the peace of God oh. that surpasses all understanding that guards our heart and our mind. We give you praise and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen, woman of God, I heard you say 24 years ago, you had an encounter with God for four days. So I want to call the seed amount tonight. You're going to sow in increments of 24. Some of you will sow 24. Some of you 48. Yes. Some of you 72. Yes. I'm believing God to do it within 24 yes. hours. Yes. She said this happened 24 years. Woman of God to do it for both of us. Yes. Because literally we both are suffering. And yes. as God do it for us, he'll do it for everyone yes, on this will. line. Yes. So in increments of 24, the ways to give is at the bottom of the screen. That's for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. And as I draw this offering, I'm going to let the woman of God close us out in prayer at the end. But I'm saying trust God. So you know if this word was for you on tonight. You know if you've been suffering in this thing too long. Remember, I said at the beginning of the live, I stepped outside from in an overnight shut-in of prayer. We're inside praying until 7 a.m. in the morning, rotating in prayer. So I'm believing as you sow this seed on tonight, it will go to the altar with me. Whatever you're needing God to do, 754-246-0580. That's for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Vimo. Some of you say, Evangelist Shakira, I don't have those ways to give. So you want to, you need an invoice. You can text the word invoice with your email and the amount you want to request to 754-246-0580. Woman of God, we did not plan a shut-in on tonight. On. I was driving back from Georgia. After yesterday, I won the author of the year. Award. Come on, congratulations. In Georgia. Yes. Thank you. And, and I got attacked on. on the way down. So driving back, I mean, I literally, it was just nothing but road and trees for nine and a half yes. hours. And I seen a billboard sign that said, have you prayed? Come on. And I said, God, come on, I pray all the time. Uh -huh. He said, no, 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 no. I'm talking about shutting yourself in, don't eat for 24 hours. Shut yourself in the church, get at the altar and call everybody else connected to you and soul tied to you. Going through, and we've been in there hey. warring, hey. warring, warring, warring. So I'm 
believing tonight that God is going to show up. You said 24 years ago, you had an encounter after four days. I'm believing God to do it within 24 hours. So we're sowing in increments of 24, $24, $48, $72. We even have Apple Pay. If you want to sow via Apple Pay, it's 245 I mean, 245-7379, 954-245-7379. Woman of God, if I can get you to pray over the seeds on tonight. Yes, yes. Father, we thank you tonight, Lord, for every seed sower. Father, for every cheerful giver tonight. Father, I thank you, Lord, that their giving is not in vain. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the abundance. Yes, sir. We thank you, Lord, for supernatural monies, God, Ooh. that shall be released back unto Jesus. them. We thank you for the 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hour ba, ba, ba. miracles. Ba, 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 ba. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, hallelujah, that you shall do exceedingly and abundantly above all, above all, above all that they can ask or think according to the power that works in them. Father, we thank you that there's power that's working in them now. The moment that they release their seed, hallelujah, by faith, the power is already in activation and demonstration. And Father, be back before they can release it or press that down. Yes, sir. It's on its way back in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare over their life, hallelujah, and I speak right now that it's harvest time in the name of Ooh, Jesus. Jesus. Your seeds are not in vain. Your giving is not in vain. A woman of God sold a $40 seed the other night to me. She said she sat alone the side of the bed and she said, Lord, this is all I have. I got my credit cards. I got this and that and that and the other to pay. She said she heard the Lord say, sow it anyway. Jesus. Hallelujah. And within 24, wasn't even near 24 hours, her cash app jingle. Hallelujah. It was a thousand and dollar seed came Jesus. out of the blue out of the blue hallelujah amen those are the kind of miracles that god shall do for you mm. this is not cliche this is not something glory to god that you don't heard people tell you and said hallelujah all of, no 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 this is real hallelujah mm. amen as long as the earth remains there shall be seed time and harvest yes. so, father we thank you we give you praise and glory Thank you for your people. Thank Bless you. them. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Amen. Prophetess, I'm going to reach back out to you after the live. Listen, people of God, that was a amazing word. I don't know about you guys, but it was well needed. When I tell you God is up to something, I'm going to let y'all see that I'm not playing. That we are literally inside the church on tonight praying. We're sleeping here. We're praying all night about what 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 God is doing. I'm saying if you haven't sold any other night, tonight you might want to do it. Because I'm telling you, it's going to the altar, that seed on tonight. I'm literally having to pull out the keys to the church. When I walk in, you're going to get music playing and people praying in a dark room. We shut off the lights so nobody wouldn't be looking at each other and laid prayers to the altar. I'm saying trust God on tonight. Again, sow your seed in increments of 24, 24, 48, 72. 24, 48, 72. Give, give, give. Give your best. I'm placing it at the altar tonight. Every seed, even the ones who don't have it to give and sowing from their heart. I'm lifting up the name of God's people in the name of Jesus. I'm going to let y'all hear a little bit. Father God, we come to you, oh God, as sinners, Lord God. We ask you, Father God, to forgive us for each and every sin, Father God. Each and everything, Father God, that we may have said, done, or thought, Father God, that doesn't line up with you, oh God. We come to you tonight, oh God, wrong, Father God. Yes. Listen, you guys, I have to go because I got to go back in and pray. And, you know, I just want you guys to see I'm not lying. We are literally, we're literally sleeping.
to be at the church on tonight, rotating in prayer. Whatever you're needing, God, do. I'm believing God for it. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Put your seed in the ground. Good night.